from the original game's voice actor Troy Baker returning for season 2, to speculation about Joel's potential death. Here's what we know about this Last of Us 2 game actor expressing interest in starring in season 2 of the show. She's among the many original voice actors from the game. Emily Swallow plays a secondary antagonist, also named Emily, in the second part of the Last of Us video game. But surprisingly enough, the actor is more interested in playing a different character for the show. In a recent interview with Slash Film, Swallow revealed that she would love to join The Last of Us Season 2 in some form, and that she wouldn't mind playing somebody else who maybe lives longer and gets to have a scene with Pedro. I don't blame her. After all, who wouldn't want a role next to the legend himself? Don't move. My daughter's hurt. Her ankle. Stop right there. Okay. Easy now. We're not sick. I got two civilians by the river. We still don't know for sure whether Swallow is going to find a place in the upcoming season of the show, but I wouldn't be surprised if she did. After all, the show has so far already featured a surprising number of game actors in new roles. Look at Troy Baker, for instance. He voices Joel in the video games, but in the show, he returns as James, one of David's followers. You likely know them as the cannibals who make a grisly appearance at the end of the season. How much do we have left? Venison. Yeah, grab it. Keep the whole town on rations. Maybe a week. Even Ellie's voice actor, Ashley Johnson, landed herself a role on the show. She may not have had a lot of screen time, sure, but fans were more than happy with what they got. She plays Ellie's mother, and I've got to give it to Mazin and Druckmann. It was the perfect casting choice, considering how much she looks like Ellie in the show. Following the same trend, Jeffrey Pierce doesn't return in the show as Joel's brother Tommy. Instead, he plays Perry, another secondary antagonist to Kathleen. But they broke this trend for just one character, Marlene. She was voiced by Merle Dandridge in the game, and the voice actor returns to the show to play the same character in live action, and she does it brilliantly. But many questions still remain regarding how the show is going to adapt the second part of the game. And here's what we do know so far about it. Season 1 of the show adapted events from the first part of the game, as well as from the Left Behind DLC. So I'm guessing that Season 2 is going to follow the story from The Last of Us Part 2. Taking place four years after the original, the sequel follows Joel and Ellie after the former rescues Ellie from the Fireflies. Ellie! Did you hear me? No. What? Well, I found this in there. While also lying to her and preventing the Fireflies from making a potential cure for the Cordyceps pandemic, showrunner Craig Mazin has admitted that the series will likely go beyond two seasons so they can tell the whole story. So I guess the second game is going to be split into two seasons, which makes complete sense because we need a lot more time for everything that's yet to come. The upcoming part follows Joel and Ellie's reconciliation, Ellie's vengeful pursuit of Abby Anderson, her evolving relationship with Dina, and growing tension between the Washington Liberation Front and the Seraphites for the control of Seattle. Apart from all that, the game has bits where the story is told from Abby's perspective too. If the show plans on doing that as well, then they're obviously going to need a lot more screen time. Now for the real stuff. Fair warning, anybody who hasn't played the games and doesn't want spoilers, stop watching now. Because I'm about to get into the fate of a fan favorite character. It's coming up whether any of us like it or not, but Joel is probably going to die. That is, if the showrunners stick to their word and follow the story of the game, then he's definitely going to die. Gamers will know that this was one of the biggest controversies surrounding the franchise's second game, especially the way it showed the beloved protagonist getting brutally murdered. That too, super early on in the story. The game even made the player control the person killing him. Given Pedro Pascal's massive popularity as Joel, Staying true to the source material is going to make a lot of people mad. So, is it everything you hoped for? It's got its ups and downs. You can't deny that view.
But then again, deviating from it will have pretty much the same consequences. And as we already know, HBO is no stranger to killing off its main protagonists early. Yes, I'm looking at you, Game of Thrones. We'll never forgive you for what you did to our man Oberyn. Pedro really can't catch a break with these shows, it seems. But who knows, maybe he'll stick around for another season of The Last of Us. With Sarah? No, she was gone already. Oh. So what was wrong with you? What's for this? Ah, the guy who shot and missed. I figured that would have happened later. No. Nope. Second day. As for Ellie, Bella Ramsey is going to continue playing the character. So yeah, we may be losing a few characters, but we'll also be welcoming a bunch of new ones. Part 2 of the game introduced many new characters who play important roles in Joel and Ellie's story. Look how dark it is. You guys go out there a lot? I guess. When was the last time? If the second season is actually going to be adapting the second game, it's likely that it will introduce quite a few other key characters. And Abby Anderson is one of them. She's the young woman who seeks revenge against Joel for murdering her father. Unhook her. How did you get in here? I said unhook her. I won't let you take her. <laughs> unhook her. One of the Firefly doctors who tried to operate on Ellie, and the person who ends up murdering Joel in the game's sequel. She even serves as one of the story's protagonists. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna see her in season two. Fans have already started guessing who could be cast to play the complex character. The top guesses include Florence Pugh, Ronda Rousey, Jodie Comer, and Shannon Barry. But again, HBO hasn't given any official statements on the matter yet. So you never know, they might just surprise us. Another important character in the upcoming story is Dina. Ellie's new girlfriend. Their story is a fan favorite from the game, so I'm pretty confident we're going to see that in the upcoming seasons as well. I can't say for sure whether that'll be in season two or later, but I'm excited for whenever it happens. Other than them, some secondary characters are also going to need to be cast, like Jesse for instance. He's introduced in part two as the leader of Jackson's patrol groups, Dina's ex-boyfriend and JJ's father. Unfortunately though, he's killed during Ellie's hunt for Abby, but I expect we'll be seeing him in the upcoming seasons because he's a pretty important ally for Ellie in the story. Another interesting one is Lev. In the game, he was a member of the Seraphites until he was banished for shaving his head. That was his way of identifying as a trans man. I'm sure he's bound to make an appearance too, since he's one of Abby's trusted allies. Lev's portrayal in the games was controversial with some transgender audiences, but hopefully the show's writers will learn from their mistakes and give the character a better storyline. They managed to do that with Bill and Frank, so I have high hopes. And finally, it's it's definitely worth mentioning that Season 2 could see Ellie face off against the dreaded Rat King. The creature's a horrifying fusion of some of the first people to be infected and is even stronger than a bloater. It isn't a major character in the story, but its appearance would make for a super great addition to the show, don't you think? That's all I have for you on this Last of Us 2 game actor who has expressed interest in starring in Season 2 of the show.